hello friends so welcome to our rwm that is revise with mentor series where we will be sharing tips and tricks to remember the difficult tables and concepts and list with you so thank you for the response that we've got for the queries that we've got on the link that we have shared i'll be sharing the link again in the description of this video again for you to post the queries so that your queries don't get missed by us and we revert back on those so we got a query today on rickettsia so rickettsia is a very very important topic we totally understand that at the same time there are too many things to mug up in that so we'll try and make this topic easy for you so let's get started so in rickettsia we have total eight types that we need to remember that is epidemic typhus endemic typhus rocky mountain spotted fever mediterranean spotted fever then we have rickettsial pox crop typhus q fever and trench fever so these are the important ones that we need to remember so we need to know the vector and the causative agent for each of these now epidemic typhus the vector is louse so epidemic we know that laos is very epidemic condition i mean it gets spread so fast from one person to the other so epidemic the arthropod or the vector which spreads like an epidemic epidemic is laos so it is laos so laos we know is a very notorious arthropod it spreads very easily that means it causes an epidemic when you treat it suddenly you get a trench and then it is notorious as we said so it relapses again so first you will have epidemic then you will have trench and again it will relapse so epidemic typhus trench fever and relapsing fever relapsing fever which is caused by borrelia recurrentis for all of these laus is the vector so even for trench fever we said that laus is the vector important thing to remember here is wherever laus is the vector the reservoir mammalian reservoir is humans so wherever it is laus the reservoir is humans so if the question is reservoir for epidemic typhus the answer will be humans coming to endemic typhus so for endemic remember flint that is the vector is flea this stands for flea endemic and typhi so the causative agent is rickettsia typhi rocky mountain spotted fever r stands for r that is rickettsia rickettsii so for rocky mountain spotted fever it is rickettsia rickettsii similarly for scrub typhus s stands for s it is susu gamushi rickettsia susu gamushi that is the agent for scrub typhus so remember rocky mountain is rickettsia scrub is susu gamushi then we have mediterranean spotted fever so what is this mediterranean spotted fever it is also called as remember the mnemonic bmi that is body mass index it is also called as botanese fever mediterranean spotted fever and i stands for indian tick typhus so mediterranean spotted fever we said is bmi that is botanese fever mediterranean spotted fever and indian tick typhus the term itself has tick so the vector for it is tick then we have before that we saw rocky mountain spotted fever where r was r 
so it was spread it was caused by rickettsia rickettsii and both the spotted fevers the vector is tick so remember tick is spotted so be it rocky mountain or be it mediterranean the vector is tick now what causes this indian tick typhus what is the causative agent the causative agent is rickettsia conori how do we remember that it's only in indian english that we talk we say that gonorrhea so the foreigners will call it in a very sophisticated way please go and indians will call it in a typical indian english language that is gonorrhea so gonorrhea is the indian language so indian tick typhus is gonorrhea then we have scrub typhus we already saw the causative agent susu gamushi if you add t to it which is the actual spelling the vector for it is trombiculite mite so susu gamushi is trombiculite mite to be specific it is the larval form which is called shigers so therefore scrub typhus is also called as shigerosis because it is caused by the larva of trombiculite mite that is the shiger now next we have is q fever so q fever the causative agent rather than spelling coxella with c we spell it like this that is coxella burnetii so q fever is coxella burnetii though it has now been excluded from the rickettsia group the vector very important point there is no vector for q fever how do we remember that q fever is question mark fever so the vector is question mark similarly there is no rash in q fever so there's no vector no rash in q fever next is trench fever trench we saw in the louse we have epidemic trench and relapsing so trench fever the vector is louse and trench the causative agent is bartonella or rocallimea quintana it is the only rickettsia though now it has been excluded from rickettsia which can be artificially cultured so it is bartonella quintana which can be artificially cultured so those were the vectors and the causative agents the causative agent for indian tick typhus we saw is tick it is also called as bmi that is botanis fever mediterranean spotted fever and indian tick typhus the causative agent for endemic typhus we saw endemic is flint that is the vector is flea and the causative agent is rickettsia typhi now what is murine typhus if you get a question murine typhus what is it caused by murine typhus is nothing but other name for endemic typhus how do we remember that murine e n is endemic typhus what causes murine typhus rickettsia museri so murine is caused by museri which is nothing but rickettsia typhi rickettsia museri endemic typhus and murine typhus so rickettsia museri has positive neel muser reaction so rickettsia museri that is endemic typhus or murine typhus has positive neel muser reactifus epidemic is louse louse is very provocative so it is caused by rickettsia proasegi other questions which you get on this topic are what is brill zinzer disease what causes brill zinzer disease so remember that 
April Zinzer, the only rickettsia which has Z in its spelling is Prozaki. So, Brill Zinzer is caused by rickettsia Prozaki. It is the mild recrudescent form of Brill Zinzer disease. Now, suppose a patient gets epidemic typhus when the patient was young and he was not treated with antibiotics. When the patient gets old or immunocompromised or immunosuppressed, then you have this recrudescent form, the recurrent form, which is a milder form, which is called as Brill Zinzer disease. So, Brill Zinzer Z is Prozaki. What is jail fever? Which rickettsia causes jail fever? So, jail again in the jail, the unhygienic conditions. Unhygienic conditions means louse. Louse means epidemic typhus. So, jail fever is nothing but the other name for epidemic typhus, which is caused by rickettsia proazaki. So, jail fever is epidemic typhus. Which rickettsia gives wheel felix reaction positive, where you have OXK positive. So, you can have OX19, OX2 and OXK positive. OXK positive is only one condition that is scrub typhus. How do we remember that? Spell scrub as SKRUB rather than SCRUB. Spell it as SKRUB. So, K is OXK positive. Very, very important and very, very frequently asked question. OXK is scrub typhus positive. Which is the most severe form of the rickettsial diseases of all the rickettsial diseases? So, the most severe is Rocky Mountain spotted fever. So, if this is a mountain, climbing a mountain is a very difficult task. So, it is the most severe. So, it is the most severe task. So, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is the most severe task. Where do you have rash? Which part of the body in Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever? So, when you climb the Rocky Mountain, you climb with your hands and feet. So, you use your hands and feet. So, you get the rash on palms and soles. So, it is the centripetal rash. So, in, in Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, the rash is centripetal. That is, it starts from the palms and soles. Opposite is in epidemic typhus, where palms and soles are spared. So, in epidemic typhus, it is the opposite. That is, the palms and soles are spared in epidemic typhus so remember these important points about the rickettsia it is very very important topic just a quick review of the vectors and the causative agent so first we saw epidemic typhus so epidemic is louse louse is provocative so it is rickettsia provoseki then you have endemic typhus so endemic is flint flint means flea and it is caused by rickettsia typhi t is typhi then is rocky mountain spotted fever we said that it's the most severe form climbing a mountain it causes rash on palms and soles it is caused by r for r that is rickettsia rickettsi what is the vector for rocky mountain it is tick spotted we said was tick so spotted fever is by tick so the second spotted fever is mediterranean spotted fever which is also called as bmi that is botanese fever indian tick typhus so the vector is tick and indian is conori so, the causative agent is rickettsia conori. Then, next we have is scrub typhus. Scrub, we said, is susu gamushi. Add the T, so you get the vector that is trombiculite mite. The sugar, that is the larval form. Then you have rickettsial 
pox pox we said causes akal so it is rickettsia akari and what is the vector for the pox it is the mite so for pox it is mite remember that for mite the mnemonic is psm that is rickettsial pox scrub typhus are caused by mite so psm pox and scrub typhus are caused by mite then we have q fever q means question mark so there is no vector and q means coxella so it is caused by coxella burnetii then we have trench fever we saw the trench with louse so the vector is louse and the causative agent is bartonella quintana so these are the most important points about rickettsia that are very frequently asked in your exam so if you want any other topic to be discussed with these mnemonics please post the picture of that table in the link which i am providing in the video below so hope this helps you to remember the difficult things in an easy way